Tumors of the central nervous system are a heterogeneous group of cancers, about 120, due to abnormal growth of cells in tissues of the brain or spinal cord. They can be benign or malignant and are called primary when they originate directly in the nervous tissue and secondary when they initially develop in other organs and later spread to the nervous tissue. Tumors of the central nervous system are quite rare and account for about 1.6% of all cancers with a 5-year survival after diagnosis of around 25%. What are the most common signs and symptoms of a brain tumor? The brain is the most complex organ in the human body, an intricate network of billions of neurons, which through the transmission of electrical and chemical signals, allows communication between the different brain areas. Since each group of neurons is responsible for a specific function, the location and size of the tumor mass will determine the type of impaired function and consequently the onset of symptoms. Headache Headache is a very common disorder that manifests itself mainly with pain located in the head. Migraine, for example, is one of the most common forms of headache and presents as a throbbing, moderate to severe pain that usually begins in the front or on one side of the head. In most cases, the headache is not a cause for concern and usually tends to resolve on its own. In a minority of cases, however, it could be the alarm bell of a brain tumor. This occurs because the growth of the tumor mass progressively increases the intracranial pressure, that is the pressure increases within the skull and therefore in the brain tissue and in the cerebrospinal fluid. The latter represents a colorless and clear liquid that flows inside the brain and spinal cord and acts as a sort of hydraulic cushion as it protects the structures of the central nervous system from impacts against the bone structures that contain them. The increase in intracranial pressure thus causes the onset of headaches, which usually appear more intense in the morning. It manifests itself with a throbbing pain and tends to increase in intensity when certain situations occur that further increase intracranial pressure, such as when we cough or sneeze. Nausea and vomiting are two other symptoms that can occur as a result of increased intracranial pressure. Epileptic seizures Epilepsy is a disease of the central nervous system characterized by recurrent epileptic seizures, sudden and involuntary psychophysical manifestations, including a loss of consciousness, a confusional state, involuntary movements, drooling and muscle convulsions. The epileptic seizure occurs following an anomalous and uncontrolled electrical discharge in the cerebral cortex in particular due to an altered electrical functionality of a group of neurons. Epilepsy is the most common presenting symptom in brain tumor and occurs in 20 to 40 percent of patients, while then a further 10 percent it will appear in the course of the disease. The reasons why brain tumors may be associated with seizures are not yet fully understood, but one hypothesis is that the tumor may exert physical pressure on surrounding brain tissue and cause the release of certain substances such as glutamate. It is the main excitatory neurotransmitter of the central nervous system, which if released in higher than normal quantities, alters the electrical activity of the brain and can cause an epileptic seizure. In the case of a glioma, a brain tumor that originates from glial cells, that is from those cells that perform a nourishing and supportive function for neurons, a quantity of glutamate 100 times higher than normal is released. This leads to a state of hyperexcitability that overwhelms healthy neurons, causing their death, as well as the onset of epileptic seizures. Vision Disturbances Vision disturbances, in some cases, could be one of the symptoms of a brain tumor. Among the most common ones we find. Blurred vision. This is the reduction of visual acuity, that is the ability of the eye to clearly perceive the details of an object. The result is that you are no longer able to see images clearly and focus on the smallest details. Double vision. It is also called diplopia and manifests itself with the simultaneous perception of two different images relating to a single object. 
This double vision results from the fact that the projection of that image onto one retina of one eye does not match the projection onto the retina of the other eye. Peripheral vision loss. We speak of hemianopsia when there is a loss of half of the visual field. If the impaired vision affects the upper or lower half, it is referred to as horizontal hemianopsia, while if it affects the vertical one, it is referred to as vertical hemianopsia. At the origin of these disturbances, there are lesions of the optical pathways, which based on their location and extent, interfere with normal visual perception. Hemianopsia may be due to brain tumors as the tumor mass increasing in size compresses the optical pathways. Among these, we find the optic nerve and the optic chiasm, elongated X-shaped area of the brain in which the optic nerves of the two eyes partially cross so as to allow the visual cortex to receive a complete image of the entire visual field. Hearing Problems among the initial symptoms of a brain tumor, we find hearing disorders. As the tumor grows, the vestibulocochlear nerve, also called the statoacoustic nerve, is compressed, and there is a slow and progressive hearing loss in only one ear. This is what happens in the case of acoustic neuroma, better known as vestibular schwannoma, a rare benign tumor that originates from the Schwann cells of the vestibulocochlear nerve, special glial cells that produce the myelin sheath of the peripheral nervous system. This causes a feeling of pressure or fullness in the ear, dizziness, blurred vision, as well as frequent or chronic tinnitus, and headaches. Other Symptoms a difficulty in maintaining balance, for example, could instead be the symptom of a tumor that has affected the cerebellum, an important structure located in the back of the brain, just above the brainstem, of which it represents a tenth of the entire volume. It deals with the control of motor activity as it coordinates the movement of voluntary muscles, regulates muscle tone, posture, balance, and also visceral motility. In fact, a tumor in this area of the brain decreases the ability to coordinate movements, causes dizziness, and makes walking more difficult. When the tumor instead affects the hypothalamus, a brain structure located between the two hemispheres of the brain, you may experience emotional disturbances and alteration in the perception of cold and heat, but also hormonal alterations, which can lead to a decrease or increase in body weight. We have therefore seen that the symptoms associated with a brain tumor are highly variable and depend on the area of the brain that is affected and therefore on the type of impaired cognitive function. Brain tumors, even if they are benign, can cause serious problems as their growth is hampered by the rigidity of the brain case. The tumor mass, therefore not being able to expand freely, tends to compress the nearby structures, causing severe headaches and some of the disturbances we have just seen in this video.